Hi, my name's Samuel Whalen. I'm going to tell you about my bully at school. He kicks my ass and he also throws bricks at my face. And, and he also one that one day at school, I was outside playing at the recess. And I was asking a girl if she wanted to be my friend, and Charles came up and hit the girl and hit me in the face. And that's, I'm done. And, and they don't do nothing about it at school? And they don't do nothing about it at school. And what happened to your socks the first week of school? Charles stilled my socks, and he also stilled one of my shirts one day. From so what would you suggest that kids do if they have a bully? I suggest they just um, t t do this to the bully, smack them in the face. Well, if, they, if they don't stop and they do it over and over again. But they should tell somebody first, right? They should tell somebody first. Yeah, only fight in defense. Only fight in defense. And, but does he bother you anymore? Yeah, he still does. But does he get in trouble? And then he said when I go back to school that, that tomorrow, he's going to threat to kill me. Well, that that's really bad. And you got a policeman at the school, right? And we got a policeman at the school. So... You should tell the policeman if someone threatens like that. Right? Right. Tell them to tell the police or teacher. Tell them. Okay. Your your audience. I, my audience. They're watching you. They're watching you. So tell them what to do if someone tries to hurt them. I think you, if somebody bullies you, I think you should throw a brick in their face. But tell someone first. But tell someone first. Before you be mean. Before you be... Mean. Mean. If you're in elementary school. If you're in elementary school. Right. And say that's... And tell your kid that too if you have one. Yeah. And no, say I'm done. I'm, say, I'm done. and how do you deal with it emotionally? Or, or you just stay just happy. Take, uh, take um a rock and hit them right in the face. But tell somebody first. No, hitting's bad. If you're in elementary, you gotta tell someone first, right? But you gotta tell someone first. Yeah, hitting's bad because then you'll get in trouble too. Because you'll get in trouble too. I would tell the policeman that's at the school. And Charles also kicked me in the balls. Man, that's not good. You don't have to put up with bully. Not when you can tell. And Charles, he was the school bully. The school bully. He is now. The school bully. Well, hopefully he'll get in trouble. And get in there, that's what he did. What? He pooped down the blue slide. Because he's disgusting. Are you sure that wasn't you that did that? No, it was him. Okay, was there any good things that happened at school that you like to do? No, because every time I went out the recess, he just kicked me in the balls and get it and get it and get it. I mean, but do you, is there anything you like about school? Yes. Girls? And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys this. Get it. Oh, okay. But you have a girlfriend at school. I already do have a girlfriend, I think. I don't know. Oh. Is her, not a friend, not a girlfriend. Is her name Autumn? No. Autumn's so, in Waverly. Autumn's in Waverly. So, I'm in Jasper Jets. Jasper Jets. So what would you so what would you tell everybody on that you're doing on Saturday? Yeah. And then Charles Are you just chillaxed? And then Charles took my lunch and smashed it in my face.
Wow. Every day he does that, he smashed it in my face. And then Charles was strong enough. Do you tell them about Jesus? But then Charles said, Jesus will kill you. Charles said it. Uh, yeah. And then Charles. And you said no. Um, let me think. Just say you're, just tell him he's a bully. Mommy, this ain't for real. Charles is not a bully and he's not mean to me. He just cusses me. And you cuss him back, right? No, because every time I say fuck you, bitch, and they just respond me because that's what they do when you get in trouble. Well, then you should probably stop saying those cuss words, right? And then Charles... Hey, did you... And then Charles, um... Did you hear me? Charles was strong enough to pick the school just... TV up and, and smash it right. So this is just... Oh, I'm sorry, my dad's home. And you heard it straight from the ADHD mouth. Stay blessed.